There you are. You sound on? You have your sound on. You're on mute. Am I mute? Oh, okay. No, you're not. <laughs> Hello, John. Yes. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> Stay so, with. So tell yes. me a little bit about yourself. Who? What do you do? And what? Where are you from? And who are you? <laughs> where well, am I? Man. Oh, okay. Hold on Get one back. second. Let me put out my um here my stuff uh, lower. I think. I like your background. Oh, I know. Okay, that's a, uh, I've been talking a lot of stuff like this. Anyway, uh, my name is Ling Tang. I um, I grew. I, I was born and grew up in China. I came here, came to the United States for my master degree in electro electro engineering. I got my master degree from USC in electrical engineering. After work for. Uh, many years as a international project management. Uh, after my retire, then I started to help the um, people who are, you know, the Chinese filmmakers and who wants to bring their film to the worldwide. And then I kind of like uh, just kind of accidentally uh, based on helping them, then I got into the entertainment industry. Um, then I end up, you know, getting involved with uh, San Diego International Kids Film Festival. Then I get involved with uh, um, the, uh, the um, I think it's a Los Angeles Family Film Festival. Then I, uh, some way, somehow, the Koreans, are, because I used to international project, I, I got a lot of business project you know, contacts, uh, end up Korea or Mexico or England and China, they everywhere invite me for their film festival. Uh, so later on, I, um, I kind of like uh, gathered in my own called Universe Multicultural Film Festival. Then, then my because my son Brandon, he is he's um, worked for Pixar and he got he, you know actress for his movie won Oscars. So then I said, that, well, the animation, uh, you know, gaming is kind of like a younger for the younger generation. Then I, I try to work with other big company, but it's too much money and so I can't afford it. So I started up, you know, establishing my own. So I, I established like Epic SAG Fest. It's mostly focused on the um, like uh, animation, comic and game. So in San Francisco, in that way, then in three places of the California, I have a three event every year. Um, you know, I like I said, during it, doing this, uh, during around this festival, uh, my purpose is just to help the artists and filmmakers because they are, uh, you know, they're really passionate about what they do, but they, um, they try to find a good platform to learn from each other or get, con you know, get connected with funding, you know, sell their movies and show their work to the people. I noticed there is a big, uh, big gap because the filmmakers do not really uh, know how to run a whole project in a successful way. Then I started getting involved with uh, uh, like a film producing or, you know, I did a Broadway musical. <laughs> I actually, I just did it. I, uh, I did a Broadway musical. Then I produced uh, quite a few movies now. And uh, um, so that's about me. <laughs> what type of movies do you produce? What are they about? Um, okay, so the very first one, I was trying to use the experimental, like, uh, you know, because I try to say, you know, Chinese has a lot of uh, good, they spend a lot of money on the industry, but like I said, they don't know, how, they do not know, know how. I mean, Hollywood knows how to tell a story, they don't. Then I try to find a problem is to form like a co-production. What I do is to, I mean, they, they have their team. Uh, you know, if you hire a Hollywood team, it's too expensive for them. Then what I did is I, I select some good people as an advisory, you know, like go there just to guide them through for where well, the film is as much less money, but if the quality wise, the movie is really good. So the very first one, I used this method um, to produce a movie called Hating Soar. That's back to 2016, I think I even cast some uh, international actors at my festival. <laughs> so I, I sent the three international uh, you know, non-Chinese uh, film um, actors to China and to go through, you know, to perform in their movie. 
and I get a producer from a Hollywood because I couldn't, you know, it's a funny thing. Sometimes they, 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 they time flag, you know, count flags. I couldn't go. So I get a, um, a producer from a, 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 I know her for a long time, but I never done anything before. It was a friend. And now she was a producer from a Paramount. So uh, then I get her to kind of like a substitute me, go there. You know, she, uh, she did a great job. So the movie, Cohating Soul, uh, we released the article in China and then it's really good and uh, uh, made a quite, uh, made a good return for the investors. Uh, same time, uh, this movie was running in the, uh, we had a screening in um, Los Angeles Lollywood Film Festival in UCLA. And uh, I got a lot of feedback from the industry people. This seems like, a, you know, uh, that, that was a very good one. Anyway, so we actually filmed when some, uh, when some award from that film festival. Um, because I don't want to put in my own festival. I want to put in somebody else's festival to know how really my, you know, my work goes. Right. So I put, yeah, I put on the Los Angeles Lollywood Film Festival uh, with Kim Bass and, you know, other people and, you know, they, and people watching and, you know, they really, you know, uh, quite, a, uh, you know, gave me kind of lots of encouragement. I, I think pretty good and doing. Um, then we started to release internationally. So we will get some kind of a distribution in like uh, Southeast Asia and like uh, some in Europe. And we're, you know, still doing part of it in North America. I mean, North America is harder because I, they have, they're too picky. You know, they, they say too many good movies. So. Well, anyway, so that's my, uh, my first feature. Um, the second one I was involved with called Senior Intern Raj. So this one is mostly uh, for the big Hollywood uh, icons. Um, you know, like uh, I heard that, you know, because when they, they, they uh, like David Akhar is the uh, one of the producers and I met him when we were in China for helping one of the, my friends is uh, fashion television lunch. So uh, David came from here and then I, I was coming here, here, but like, like one of David's friends and they calling me said, oh, you have taken care of him. You know, I, oh, then I said, all right, I got chaperone work to do. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, then that's how I know David Lockhart and David Lockhart produced and uh, Brian, um, they are producing a movie called Shane and Taraj. They got like, uh, um, uh, the director from Golden Pong, uh, Mark Riddell. Then they Mark got Riddell, Eddie, yeah. yeah. Then they got Eddie Asner, uh, uh, then they got uh, Helen, um, Helen Randy, and they got uh, many, you know, and uh, uh, I think Charlie Robinson, yeah. Quite Charlie a, Robinson, good friend of yeah, mine. Yeah, so they're quite a good, uh, you know, I check on their YMDB. I mean, they all, before I come in, the only one person I already know is because I watched the, the uh, you know, I love the, uh, the Golden Pound. Then I said, oh, the director's there. Then I said, I'm in. Uh, I wanted just to, you know, to see who is really, did that great movie. So we uh, end up, we produce, you know, I helped uh, co-produce uh, this movie and we got a lot of fun. And I think this movie right now is on, it's on the distributor hand. Uh, we have some deal goes on, so I cannot uh, release something, but uh, quite good. I think we were have kind of other offers like a, a, a sequel, like a sequels in China, in Italy, or something like for that, a uh, cinema entourage. Let's go back um, to Charlie Robinson. Yeah. I what, what, what part did you have for Charlie Robinson? I know Charlie from Actors Studio. He's yeah, been a friend so, of mine for 30 years. Yeah, he was played uh, in a scene in a, uh, I think in Santa Monica Hotel. And they're doing some uh, like uh, confess story uh, with the, the, uh, the, pr the priest. It's very funny and he did some part with uh, uh, like Tom Cruise and some, you know, like it's a mockumentary, it's a, it's a lot of comedy and fun thing. So he played a guy, you know, a, 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 like a, 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 he played basically him kind of like say, well, uh, he's, you know, just talking kind of fun and, uh, uh, you know, amazed me. He, he looks very good. He looks very young and very, very healthy. Very healthy. And he, I think he worked, Work out a lot. You know, all the actors. Well, he's married are... to an Italian girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Then he, then he eats well because Italian yeah. people love to eat. <laughs> so he got good health. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, he's a very, um, you know, very easygoing, very talented. I mean, everybody do in a movie because they're pro, they're pro for all their life. So they can. They can start dialogue without any script. They can make a whole thing like a, you know, you think they're talking like a, like a, you and I talking, but they're not. I mean, they do it very, 
very naturally. It seems like acting in it's like they're natural. So it's it's so rule, so so true, so real. So and also they work very, you know, prof very professionally and on time and no. They said not requirement, even they're big guys, you know, they're big guys. But uh, so I, I get a um, very, very um, good experience with them. And uh, that's about the way him. He's a very nice and strong and sweet guy. <laughs> Charlie's been a good friend, good guy. Now, yeah. the, the actors, now Charlie, I know Charlie's acting from Actors Studio. I'm a mm -hmm. member there too. And so is Mark Rydell. Uh, yeah. You know, he's one of the president, the head of uh, the actor studio out here mm -hmm. in the West. Okay. And uh, that your way of work, you direct too, don't you? Uh, I, I do thought. direct uh, uh, some, uh, you know, actually I direct uh, uh, my own film festival because my festival is not like everybody else's festival. It's a whole wrong show. We got we got show runs, right? We got uh, opening gala, we got, uh, you know, reception gala, we got uh, uh, mostly our award ceremony. It's a whole show. It's like a Oscar show. It's it's a, like I said, I don't have, a, yeah, we got, we got, you know, long red carpet, we got all the interviews. Then we have a show, we have award ceremony, uh, which between we have performance. These performers are come from worldwide and from different culture. So, uh, so uh, yeah, I direct you. <laughs> Well, when I, so I, somehow, yeah. when I brought that up because like, Charlie's acting, he's a method actor, like, you know, what I'm supposed to be too, but now your actors, how do you, how do they work together with the styles of acting? Is it, is it Strasbourg method or how is the, you know, I'm very curious about the training that they have in China. As well, actors. I think, uh, I think they um, they have their own way of uh, training, and normally it goes to uh, like a training schools. Uh, but more like a more oh, okay. So if you, if you have watched it, like this uh, musicals, they mostly I think uh, has more like a um, stage show type of the performance. Not exactly like the uh, you know like the British one. What's it called? Um, uh, what's the guy? What's the very famous? Uh, 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 Shakespeare, right? It's, yes. Yeah, Shakespeare. Six, Shakespeare, yeah. Um, I think the part like Shakespeare and the part is the traditional because China has those uh, uh, like uh, all folk, like operas, they are stage shows. Every province has its own style of it. So I think majority of learning or method are used that way, and which is not very good for camera because it's all like, you know, you're on the stage, you just face the outing. Yeah. Very you, large. You, you, yeah, very large. It's it's external, it's yeah, yeah, you don't know the, you know, like the, they don't, uh, it's just not the way, it's more like stage performances. So that was making all the actors in the cameras or differences than what we have here. You know, the, uh, I think American actors are making things so real. Right. And uh, the Chinese way, it's like, you know, you're watching a play. So I try to blend in them like that. I say, well, you guys need to adopt, you know, how the American actors, they're so real. They're like, you know, they're so, 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 so real stuff. And then you just like, you're doing like a, a, a day one. I think that's a more natural for it, get it closer to the role and also get closer to the audience. If you're on a stage, you were no, we're not watching movie. But like I so said, that's a problem of theirs that we were trying to, um, you know, to, I mean, they don't get, uh, you know, they, the, a lot of them they didn't get much training on uh, the actors, right? Now, especially in modern days, you know, it's all because how much, how famous you are, you know, on the, on the internet, how many fans you have, right? how many, that's where um, we call like, uh, you know, like a, if you have lots of fans, you don't know how to play, but because for the for the tickets off uh, box, so they they just casting those people. It's and about it's, recognition, not talent, right? No, it's not talent. It's not skill, yeah. and yeah. which which all the well, older you, generation of the actors and they're really uh, you know not happy for it. But like I said, you know whatever you can do. <laughs> so they work with someone like Charlie. Mm -hmm. It's they they really have, they see what acting is about. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, uh, that's another thing I'm gonna do because in my future production, I have a couple more movies, you know, waiting. Uh, and this stupid uh, COVID nineteen, this whole year is really 
really, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, make me, uh, you know, a lot of anxiety and depression because the project's waiting on there, then we can't do anything about it. Yeah. Uh, so right now, what all the project in my future doing is I'm going to combine the actors. So I try to create all the contents with multicultural. So I will have, a, uh, like, the Chinese actors in there and also have American talents in there. Uh, so at least they can learn from each other. Mostly they can learn, adapt the way how American actors, I mean, this is easy. I mean, actors, they're, they're smart. I mean, they, as long as you work with somebody in a method, you will know, right? right. So I, I'm, I created a, my new projects always international talents. So they, uh, some, you know, learn from each other, but like, of course, how do we, I mean, the, you, I mean, it's a, it's a top. So um, of course, they, a lot of people will get benefit learning how the way, how to act in from the actors from Hollywood. Uh, so I, that's another thing we will produce our cycle of the signature arts. So I will have some, um, you know, more Chinese, I will produce a Chinese one, Chinese version too so even we go to Italy so I will still have some kind of you know, Italy Italy's icons and Hollywood icons and bring some Chinese one and I know bring a, a probably a, a kind of a new way of the also the the film crew has a different way of a method working too so it's not like like they don't do like a, what we do here uh, but like I said we try to teach them the right way to do it and then you got good quality of a movie that you're able to sell in your product otherwise nobody's gonna watch it um yeah so i think right now they're listening uh you know hopefully you know we we, we can or once they um COVID ending so we can start it yeah. i have yeah. a friend uh juliet ann mm -hmm. she she was here in beverly hills and she's now in singapore she's a very big producer over there and mm -hmm. i got she's now part of the actor's studio i got mm -hmm. her into the actor's studio out here in, oh, okay. In the, in LA, and she's learning, you know, our ways of work the way we mm -hmm. work. As that with Charlie Robinson and Mark Rydell and all that, and myself and other people, they get to see that they learn mm -hmm. right from scratch here in New York, the Actors Studio. Are you familiar with the Actors Studio? Yeah, I know a little. I know, I, I, you know, you, uh, I know a little bit about it, but not much. <laughs> like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not an actor, so I don't really pay attention for that part. But I, I'm a quick learner, so I, I think I, you can tell me a little bit about it, what it is, but I, I kind of can guessing what you, it's about. It's just how you probably actor still is teaching how different way of a better to the actors just to, to, to purify, you know, to, to make their scale better, something like that. The training. Make it real. Yeah. Yeah, to, yeah. To not act. Yes, that's what I think a lot of problem for, for the Chinese actors are 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 other 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 uh countries too. They are yeah. not. They're they're no. They act. They're doing it. Uh, I told them you're you have nothing wrong, but you're playing a stage show. It's a show, but you're not doing as a like movie acting. It's, it's different. movie acts. Yeah, it's a different. You have to be. There is a camera on there. There yeah. is a wanted, there is your environment on there. You have to be a real person, like uh, who are the role is. Um, so anyway, so that that's what uh, uh, that's what a lot of uh, yeah, you can because I run festival. You can see uh, the acting scales and about uh, different countries and different where. Uh, you know, I think uh, Europeans are. And Americans are the act actors very good. And well, they train. Uh, it's training. That's what it is. When you yeah. go in America, well, you go to Europe, they're like Australia, England, you talk about Shakespearean actors, but they yeah. they they train for years. It takes, you know, it's not overnight. It's not, it's not how many people you get on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah, uh, I think that's uh, that's what uh, you know everybody is complaining right now, and uh, hope you know I think they uh, you know the investors are really like a lot of problem because they they you know so much money to get this, but you know they 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 have lots of followers and fans, but they it doesn't you know makes the pro the the the, the project looks very awful because they don't know how to act, right? And uh, then you. You know, you don't get uh, much of a return, and that's a, that's a lot of money. And I think now they are they're learning a hard lesson. But see, yeah. that's how that, that's how, that's that's what it is. But anyway, you know, but I hear have, China is yeah. there's a lot of money to, they, in the movie business. There's a lot of that to be you know done. Yeah. And so doing it right could only be you know right for you. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you have to you have to do the right good stuff. Okay, so that's why everything I do, I want to say, well, even though I'm not pro in this industry, but I want to do the best what I know, and I can hire the best of the people in the industry to do the right job. Mm -hmm. So because I do festival, I know so many good actors and you know, I produce movies here. So I had a lot of good directors and I, I could use their talents to in my projects. Uh, some actors are, you know, you can tell they're very good. So they, um, so that's what I think it is, um, you know, in my future projects, I, you, know, you know, we will do more and more of the collaboration. And same time I produce good project. And then, then uh, you know, the, um, there is a lot of stories and for the different culture program, there's a lot of good stories. I don't think Hollywood knows about it because people are not really um, open their mind to much of other other places. I mean, of course, America is very advanced and everything, but but they are, you know, human history is like five or six, you know, more, more than more than six thousand years old. There is all different kind of stories over there. Um, even these places, they are not. Um, well developed, but there's a lot of good stories can come from different cultures. So um, I think that's why my own festival is like we needed to put all different kind of a story in there, and you need to make make some fun thing. I a lot of a lot of movies and there your nonsense on there. You know what they're doing is I know it's just for relaxation, but when you do a film, I want it to be more like a you know like artistic, and same time people like to watch combine artisticism with the capitalism because you needed to get a, the investor money back. Right. Uh, so yeah, you balance both. So you have to be really careful. So the story has to be interesting. The cast who, who, uh, who are into the uh, project will be really the right one for it. And they have to love the characters that are doing it. Of course, the whole team, you know, this and that. So I think is uh, if we are having some more culture-based stories, then we can we can reach more audience, I mean, worldwide. Because certainly, of this, we, we like to see what what about other, you know, funk, you know, some other cultures and other more uh, good stories. Uh, so I said, my my all my new projects are mostly like has kind of like. Um, uh, come from some cultures like stories or legendaries and then I combine the story uh where you know you find, change where mm -hmm. do you find your stories from how do you find them um okay see a couple of things okay uh first thing is we uh for all my street film festival we have a category called like screenplay contest so we sometimes from this you know people submit their script and you will probably you know certain stories down there so the people come from worldwide submit their stories on there. Okay. So if we find something really interesting, then we'll probably say, you know, find if we want to do this together, then we um will at the just, you know, this is like a uh especially uh like a non, you know, like like a, a non uh non you know Europe and China. I mean your Europe and uh, Hollywood standards, a lot of a lot of script they're not use the standard what we are using here. They use their own way, but however, they have some very interesting stories. You still can use that part. Then you can. Then we were planning to have a team of like uh, you know screen play, screenwriters from Hollywood to, to uh, you know to modify the story right. and make it a, like a make a, a make a uh, you know, real. You know like real like a good uh, good uh, script good script. Then we will probably produce uh, with uh, you know uh, cross cultures and um, talent, and uh, then then they will make a good movies and good stories. In how you know Hollywood knows the best method, and but you have the good contents. Then then you can easily to distribute to worldwide, and that costs not, not much money because people are gonna gonna look at it, and then. So that's what the world work on that for, and has some interesting, some nice story. You know, I mean, a um, lot of lot of these stories here is it's it's a repeat story. It's, I mean, because so many years, like I say, you are using them, you've been using most of the story already. So you have to open your eyes to other cultures, uh, their their uh, heritage or some kind of stories from there. Um, that's what I, we're really like to do about it. You know, my festival is trying to do is like say, hello, let's go all get together. You know, yeah, filmmakers, it's a profession. So the contents wise, everybody has their own story. So we can, how can we use up new contents and that's come from a different culture.
So why? Uh, yeah. So anyway, that's 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 uh, that's something we're we're trying to make it, and also same time to uh, help the uh, those other undeveloping countries uh, uh, filmmakers, the scale wise, the you know the educational wise, because no, yeah, not everybody can afford to come here to learn how to make movies. So you try to bring it back there. I'm not trying to, but yeah, I mean, like I said, we got so many, I think we have so way more talents here than we can accommodate. So I send talents over there. I send out how many people say, yeah, over there to guide them and to improve their like, uh, you know, producing skills. So that's what I, I did. I did quite a few. <laughs> So like some of the movies, they say, oh, you need, I said, well, you need, you want to, you, I can hire you a like a script, script actor can help modify the story. And uh, sometimes you need, a, you need a talent. Of course, I, I send out and cast from, you know, I have a, I run film festival, I have a big, quite a followers and there are many talents in my, my circles. I post on my Facebook and people send over there, we pick from them, then we send them to China, to Yilin, to Mexico, to whatever they are asking us for. So they go work there. And um, that's, that's another thing we're doing. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, too many, uh, like a cinema photographers and they're the key one, the cinema photographers, script doctor, cinema photography. And uh, you know, like uh, we, I also create. I don't know how Hollywood has this position or not. Called uh, um, director advisor, uh -huh. you know, for advise the, to help the director in, yes. in in Korea, in China, in Mexico. Uh, they have. I mean, like I said, they already have their way of doing certain things, but they lack of the Hollywood experience. And we we hire somebody from here who has a lot of. Hollywood director experience to helping them for a little bit short period of time. And then, then, then they will be making the whole thing works better. So that's the method where we're, where we're we as a producers or cross culture, we're trying to do it. And I was being, I've been creating that method and also practice on that uh, Sims work, Sims work. At least from what I, the project I, I, I handle it, I think Sims work. Good. And yeah, like composer. You know, a lot of people they don't know. They they just get a they just get a music from from anywhere, like their songs or whatever they have, a record put it in it. I say, what musical film composer? What musical film music? I say, come on, that's a very <laughs> you need a composer to create music. It's a language of your movie. Oh, oh, we did do that. I said, of course. So like uh, <laughs> we. So now we get a lot of composers sending over to, or something. They don't have to go over there, you know. Right now, composer can do anything here, you know. Just get a, you know, like a, like a video conferences, and you know, get also all the information, compose the music for their movies. So, oh yeah, after that, oh, it is better. I said, of course. <laughs> so anyway, it, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's that's what we're we're trying to do, and. Um, yeah, and so, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, uh, now because China has kind of problem with their industry for the film, so we will have a lot of um, like Chinese project we will just film here. The actors has kind of, you know, they're, they're regulars, they actor really badly. If you're having any like personality fact, you know, you're like, you're, you cut and you're drink drug or smoke or something against their, 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 their moral standard, mm -hmm. you will be banned to be an actor. Really? So they, yeah, if you are, if you, okay, let's say this is so awful because for a lot of investors, a big, huge risk is, okay, if you already played the movie and in the movie before a release, so if they find that the main actor had a kind of, you know, drug problem or other problem, the whole movie cannot be, be aired or released. Really? Yes. Oh. Very hard. So makes us, um, makes us. It's, I mean, you don't know who, who is going to, and sometimes they film the movie that's five years ago, right? Maybe by that time, we don't, we're not, we're not police or anybody, we're going to check on how you're doing. Yeah. And also maybe five years ago, he was a good, good one, right? Right before we finished the movie, where we released, then he cut into a, you know, a smoke or, or, or some kind of way, then you, your movie is done. Not just so unfair, but what do we can do? So anyways, I think right now we're doing either, either just to use the oriental look. If you are a Chinese actor, we use the oriental actor scene here. So they don't have much of their, 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 their stuff there to subsidize them. So to do the stuff. And also we, we try to use uh, like a, 
you know, it's another way to do, but you have to keep moving. The practice of waiting there, you have to keep producing it. And then you got all these problems, they have to find a way to solve it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they have a lot of, you have a lot of talent in this country of from China, Chinese actors, Korean actors, Japanese actors. You know, yeah, I think I think it's it. see the problem is okay. You don't have enough roles for them. They can't live here. Yeah. You don't have enough uh, enough like a, you know a roles for them to make a living here. So they have to come here a little bit and then go over there. And they don't have some. And also because they like I said this industry, we don't have much of like Oriental absence. So I mean like uh, so we don't have much. So even sometimes we want to find the good actors, they're not in a circle. I constantly receive a lot of like producers or, or casting directors, you know, share me messages. Oh, Link, can you please? I'm looking for some people there. Can you share your like Chinese uh, fan base? Then I do for them, you know, because they can't find the right one. You know how much the, the talent they put is very narrow. Is is yeah. because you don't have a room for them. So they always. Uh, so that's another problem. But. Like I said, if we're producing more movie here, then we got we got more people. I mean, always have lots of talents, but it depends on how you know, you know how many of them. Then you can find the right one for you for a project. Yeah. Well, then yeah, you have to get more projects going here. That are, that are, yeah. See, yeah, it's uh, it is. That's what. There's uh, many Chinese it. stories out there. Yeah, there are a lot of Chinese story on there. So there is a lot of differences and a lot of cultural clashes. Like I, I can't tell as I can tell you like hours, hours. Um, they're yeah, you know, they have their mind like fix the box. They will say, Well, I have it's a Chinese story, I have to film in China. Then you film in China, then you're releasing China, they think they have an audience in China, so they have to go follow, you know, follow all this red tape. Which is very, you know, which is especially here, you know, it, it, it's just so, you know, so uh, unbearable um, procedure wise. That's why Hollywood is never able to meet with, work with them in their way. Mm -hmm. So we we have somebody like us to really know how to, you know, like, uh, uh, like go slow, you know, like, um, I, I, like a live gates all these ways to get right away. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of time because the, the, the art artist are, has, has no patience, you know, has a different kind of attitude. Because we get spoiled here, we can creating uh, whatever we want to do, you know, this and that, but over there, you don't. You don't get whatever you want to do. You have to do under their role. I mean, you're creating something. You have to follow their rule. Then it's kind of like a, you know against each other uh, by nature wise. But I understand. But at the same time, it's hard for them. So for hard for the whole project. Is it yeah, all that way? Like in all of China? Like if you go to like Singapore or Hong Kong, isn't it different? The uh, more open. Uh, Work. Hong Kong and Singapore. Singapore is basically like what we're here. It's much more open. Yeah, it's basically That's like my here. Friend is now. She's over yeah, there. yeah. Like Hong Kong used to be very open, but Hong Kong has um do not have enough uh, marketing. Your audience don't have enough, so the the Hong Kong's uh, film industry is no more. No. They they let all these people going to work in China instead of China because they have a bigger all in base. So Hong Kong is um, you know I mean you have, you have talent on there you have people on there but then ninety percent of the time they're in in, in the mainland China uh. because there's there is a job there but in Hong Kong you don't have much of it because you don't have enough all in to to support your your project. Oh, we sort of Hong yeah. Kong, that's where the kung fu kung fu you know. Music, oh, like, yeah, it's Jack, Jack Chance, uh, Jack Chance, uh, uh, you know, like Jack Chance and you know, like Jack T, and uh, those people are dead, but then everybody moved to China because they have bigger markets. And uh, and now the new president has so many new rules, uh, apply for the industry, so it's really it's not a good right now. The industry wise, it's not very good. No. The film industry is very bad right now well, in China. What do you want to do to change it? How can you change that? I can't change them. No, uh, you, there's nothing you no. can do. And... No, not saying we can do. It has to be by the leader you want to change or not. Okay, all I can do is to do, like I said, for me, I'm very, very because I am a, I'm an engineer. I was a business owner. I am a project manager. I'm very, I'm very down to the earth. You know, everybody has a limited time for their life. I only can do much I can, which I can accomplish.
So what I do is to try to bring a Chinese story and um, make a more like make a better way and use the you know the resource in Hollywood and they use my other resources to able to distribute this movie in the worldwide. That's the only thing I can do. You know, the, I mean, other things you can, it's just too much bureaucracy. You're wasting your time and the effort and never able to break into in there. No matter who you are, you have to have the leadership, the hope top, and they have to change their mind. Not, yes. you know, I mean, we want them to change back, you know, right away, we'll be happy if they yes. don't, because they control the, all the, they guarded all the platform. Theaters and TVs, everything you have to have a permit for, and they only give you a permit for the people, their approval. If something, the content goes there, they don't like it, you gonna you have no platform to show your work. Uh -huh. I mean, how you get your money back? How you get the, you know, you I mean, you do it. So that's what, uh, why to, it's very hard for them. I think I, I, I advoked them to say, well, do something to aim for the international market. Not just always to focus on the Chinese market. Yeah, that's their mind. They setting to make money, make make movie for the for the for the big Chinese audience. But I say that there is a gate on there. You can't make for them. Mm -hmm. You know, some good stuff, some good stuff. They can't because there's so many uh, so many regulations, and it's hard for every artist to create something based on so many rules. It's hard. I, that's why sometimes when a Chinese movie looks very awkward, uh, you know, I understand. I will start laughing. I say, yeah, you, he's already very smart. Get over. <laughs> I <don't>, <laughs> so that's what, yeah, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a tough. But, so that's what I can do is to, to make a couple of the good ones and, you know, really, hold on one second. Okay. I think, hello? Anyway, so it's kind of like a, a, a kind of like a, so that's what, what I can do is to do a little bit at a time. How much I can down, I do as much as I can, but you want to change the whole system. You know, it's so hard. I don't know. It's so hard. It seems like they're so hard. They control everything and yeah, you can't do much of it. So I believe everybody in the film industry wants to have a, uh, your freedom and to creating or this and that, but you don't. I think they're very lucky to have you because you, you, you are doing. You, you are know, doing. it's, I, I, you know, I do this because I, like I said, I already retired from my uh, career or my profession. So I, I'm done with my life. I can have much of freedom. You know, much of a, I'm not young. I mean, I'm, I'm not young, but, but I think I can do something for the people, for the culture, for the artist, uh, for the right way. Um, there is, you know, it's a huge population over there and we have a lot of good stories and they need to be heard. It's not belongs to, you know, belongs to everybody, belongs to the whole world. Um, the, if, you know, if they're lucky, like in Hollywood, we already, we, they don't need me, right? Because they're, they're being regulated. So they've been, they be in the box there. So, and then like I said, I don't want to talk against them. But at the same time, you can't do it. So that's why for me, I think all over, I say, well, I do whatever I can. So at least I do one or two, at least I did. If you don't do your through over, you will never get it down in my life at least. So I started anyway, I will produce credit certain movies or certain Broadway shows and not have their story on there and doing it right away. Give them an example. Um, maybe other, other people's, uh, other people here will follow, then they will be make it up. But there's a know, lot of good away. actors and directors and writers that you find yeah. in the theater here. I don't know yeah. if you go to the theater a lot, but it's something I would recommend. There's a, on Facebook, there's a show mm -hmm. from the actor's studio called Smartphone. Mm -hmm. Smartphone Theater. It's oh, okay. on Fridays. Uh -huh. I would, uh, I'd like to send you a link and, and hook you up there. I think it's something you might enjoy mm -hmm. and you get to meet some of the people, you know, the American directors, which people like Charlie Robinson and all, you know, he does things on there. Okay, that's he did cool, great, yeah. It's called Smartphone Theater. It's on- Oh, Facebook. okay. 
Smart oh, I, will, I will check on it. Yeah, smartphone, Facebook, yeah, smartphone filter. Yeah. Also, because I might, uh, you know, like I said, uh, I'm trying to find a way. It, there are some of the good projects, like from a festival, they're from all different countries, right? Not only China, they're very, but they can't get into here because they, I go talk on like, you know, like a platform like Let's Flags and stuff. They, they have to go through their own people. And I, for people like outside like me, I never know who are, who's voice them. And I get somebody talking to me, you know, up front, this much money, I will have it, and we'll give it to you later on. And then I said, well, that's, I don't I even don't know you how, how you, can you prove me you have a, you know, connection, what, really connection, waste, a lot of flags or something. Like, oh, da, da. Then I say, it's just, then I said, I can't do it because it's not a, the right way to do this. So uh, the platform or the seller wise, there is a lot of, I know it's saturated. I think that's the word could, could use, mm -hmm. but there are many other works um, we need to do. So I might, uh, I'm thinking I'm still fundraising for get uh, um, like uh, like an online seller for uh, for like kind of like a Netflix, but I will add in more stuff. But the content wise is all from like international and multicultural. So we may we may like um, you know, subtitle or the uh, doubling them there, you know, to fit certain other people, uh, you know, like to watch. Yeah, so we cool. are where we're, yeah, I might be eventually um, build up a shelter, yeah. like online shelter for all this good work, really yeah, good work. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm gonna, yeah. Todd, who runs the uh, smartphone theater, would be glad to help you with that. Oh, okay. And someone that would really help you with that. Uh, I'll send you my email and I'll give you his email. Okay. And, uh, it'd be someone, and he would, I know he would love to help you. There's a, a few people I, there's another John Lacey, who, mm -hmm. uh, another person. These are people from the actor's studio. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. send you links to them. And, okay. Oh, That's awesome. Yeah. Mm. And these are people that I would like, you know, you should meet. And they would, because, you know, you have something there. I'm a big fan of, I love, well, I'm Italian, so we love Chinese food, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you, know uh, you know, I, um, my, uh, if it wasn't COVID on the February, I'm already in Italy, in Sicily Island. I wanna, I, I wanna get a couple of the retire, retirement. I will retire in Sicily Island. So I already have a made a, like, a, you know, oh, a, a Palermo, point you wanna go to Palermo in Sicily. <laughs> So yeah. I don't know because Sicily invites me to be there. The government says, oh, then you come to here. And I bought like 20 people. Each one buy one house. It would be a little village for us. For all my friends, we can retire there, right, for uh, for retirement. And just that week, Italy locked, up, locked down. Yeah. So I couldn't go. So I'm waiting for the reopen. They said at the end of January, they will be reopen. Once they reopen, we'll be in Italy. I like Italy a lot. Yes. Because I like people, people like my hometown people. They're warm, they yes. you know, go to their, uh, you know, like a, you go anybody's house and can't Eat have a meal and, and, and you don't have a problem. Yeah, you can go. Family oriented. Life. Yeah, family, friends, and um, you know, like uh, they taking care of each other and they're, they're more, they're, they, they live better. They live way better than people were here. Yes. They have better life. So I think, hey, you know, the, the house is not expensive there and uh, the living expenses are not, not very expensive, not, not, not much cheaper than here. Like we can just go there to retire. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I kind of like to say. Yeah, we got 20 people signed up. So we all go there to get our little house. And we will... is, yeah, it's cheaper. I have friends in Rome. And this mm -hmm. and that actors. You know, we don't want to make big city because big city is too much. We want to go to like a smaller village, oh, small yeah. town, and you can have a retirement life. So it's that's just, uh, yeah, yeah, you got to, yeah. yeah. So that's what I would say. Oh, Italy, I love Italy. <laughs> Everybody say, what are you going to do in Italy? Everybody love it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's another thing. Like we have, uh, uh, we're talking about a cycle for city and Italy. So we probably try to get like, uh, you know, like Italian um, big actors into it. I think somebody already got it, so I don't know who, but I think I, I heard they, I heard Brian, the director, said they get somebody already, find someone like, a, like, like, it's a Sophia Roland, right? It's a big, uh, the film, they, she's very old now, so she's an older, so can be, so well, they there's, say, oh, there's, yeah. there's an actress yeah. in Rome who's like uh, Anna Mangami. Her name is uh -huh. Lydia Vitali. Oh, Lydia Vitali, okay. She's in Rome, <laughs> and she's oh, on Facebook. Okay. 
she, you know, she's a good, really, she does this Anaman Gamma. She does a one woman show. She tried oh, okay. world doing it. And it's yeah, it's maybe wonderful. maybe we can, you know, maybe we can, you know, when we do that, we can maybe cast her into in our like cycle. <laughs> yes, you should. Uh, it's Lydia Vitali. Okay, I'll I'll friend you her. I mean that's okay. your name. You, okay. Okay. Okay, sure. Lydia yeah. Vitali. Lydia Vitali. You'll be coming yeah. on the show. Um from, from Rome. We're gonna set it up a time. Okay. We'll yeah, sure. That's good. Yeah. Okay. You'll like Lydia. And uh, she, I, she was with Actors Studio here. I brought mm. her to Actors Studio. Mm, okay, that's cool. She's a great looking, and her, her daughter's also good too. Hey, you know, Italian people are good looking, both men and women, you yeah. know? So you guys are good looking, you're eating well. <laughs> you're eating well, you got good food. <laughs> and I like Chinese women there. <laughs> Like Asian women, yeah, yeah. Chinese woman has Chinese, yeah. Chinese woman and Italian woman has one thing in common: high tone, because everybody sing opera. Yes, the only the two women in the world can say the high tone is considered opera is a Chinese woman. My Italian friend, woman. her name is Lu Yi, <laughs> Lu oh. L U Y E. Okay. She's in uh, Beijing now. Okay. And, uh, she's an opera singer. Mm -hmm. She sang for the Pope. Wow. She and she was with Active Studio. If you on my Facebook page. And I will go if, checking. Yeah. Okay. If you look on my the, my Facebook page, that's her with me. Oh okay. I got it. Okay. That's her. Okay, Louis. 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 Oh, okay. It's L U Y E. Yeah, Louis. Yeah. I, I'm yeah, I'm talking to you, then I'll be writing down already writing all the yeah. names. <laughs> a lot of names. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, yeah. I'll give you and I will just keep in touch. Sure. Well, thank yeah. you for coming on. And this was great. And I'll send you a copy and it's going to be up on Facebook later on. I will share it. Yeah, I will share it. Yeah, I will share it. Yeah, I will share in uh, the link uh, from yes. Facebook. Yeah, you know, for my people. So you will okay. know what we're talking. <laughs> a little bit. And, uh, yeah. I, I, put, I put it up. I was hoping some of your friends would come on to talk. And, you know, yeah. I put it up there on Facebook. Yeah, okay. The, the thing. Okay. All okay. right, my lovely. Thank All you right, for thank coming you. on. Yeah, this is yeah, wonderful. Sure, yeah. As okay, we say, in touch. ciao. Yeah. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>